Hello, peepals. I am Jodan54, and welcome back to Nostalgic Throwdown. So far on this series, we've covered the entirety of two CD-ROM collections. This, however, was only scratching the surface of the world of CD-ROM gaming that I experienced as a little kid. With an insane variety of surprisingly fun kids' games, I have a whole case of these relics, busting at the seams with nostalgic goodness. Obviously I can't cover all 53 CD-ROMs in this case, but I will cover 9 of the most nostalgic ones to me, and next episode we'll cover one more that truly holds a special place in my heart. For now, let's take a dive in here. Throughout the recording sessions of Nostalgic Throwdown Episode 4, I experienced a lot of technical difficulties. Alright, so, I'm not sure if any of these discs are gonna work. They're old. I don't like that sound. I really don't like that sound. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, I can't play the game without installing it. Oh, I made the sound! Really now? Old school video games are really kind of serious. Is that right? Yes! Well then. It's saying they're damaged or incomplete. I don't think that file's gonna be there. What? What? No. Never. Just let me play. Uh, this app can't run on your PC. The main one is that, well, when you have CD-ROMs as old as these, there's a very good chance that they're not going to work, especially on an operating system as new as Windows 10. So, if you're wondering why this took so long to go up, this was a main contributing factor. As such, the recording of this episode had to take place in four different phases. Alright, Arthur's Reading Race. This is a classic one from our childhood. I wasn't very good at it, though. <laughs> and, uh... It's also a pretty short one, so who knows? Maybe I won't have to install anything. Autorun.exe. I like the name of that. Oh, it's saying install. The system cannot f find the file specified. What? Oh. Yeah, because autorun.exe actually isn't there. It, it's not. <laughs> That's not gonna work. But that is! Whoa! Whoa! Hold on. We're getting a black screen. <laughs> this is already further than everything else. Alright boys, this might actually work. We might get something working here. Arthur's Reading Race by Mark Brown. By Mark Brown. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to wear headphones. Nah. By Mark Brown. Oh, the childhood is returning. Yo, I love that, um, that little, the walking dude intro. Alright, we loading, we loading.
the disk just stopped rotating in the tower. Just thought you guys might want to know. No, you're not going to find a solution to this. <laughs> you're not going to find a solution to a 20-year-old CD-ROM not working in Windows 10. Living Books Arthur's Reading Race by Mark Brown. Nailed it. All right, can we work this time around? Hi. Hey. I'm Wait for me. <laughs> and oh. I'm D W. Welcome to Living Books. Welcome <laughs> to. Oh yeah. You're in a void. That's I don't Arthur's think this is how it's normally supposed pal. to look. But this book is about me. I know how to read. Come for a walk with us and see. If you want to have this book read to you, click this button. If yeah. you want to play inside the story, click this button. Click what button? <laughs> There's no button there! Hey, I'll just... Yo, I'll just... Yeah. You know what? Can you, can you walk over there a little bit? Uh, I think that'll make some icons appear. Shout out to my icons on the bottom, by the way. Your boy, uh... Word, open broadcaster software, uh, which you can thank for the high quality audio, unless it didn't record. That's the best thing possible. That's loud. Turn it down. Okay. Okay. Let me play. Oh, and my cursor turns to the walking dude. Arthur learned to read in school. Now, class. Who can read this word? <laughs> Arthur? I can. It's jump. Very good, Arthur. You're learning to read. <laughs> I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it says a lot about this book's efficiency when um Wait, am I supposed to do something? I think I am. Um when I saw that word and I thought it said giraffe instead of jump. 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 Why are books delicious things? That's uh. Jump. Wait, what am I supposed? What am I supposed to do? Rest of I can read more words too. I can read more words too. Dance. Dance. <laughs> hey. Yo, he getting that? Yo. Okay. I see you, Arthur. That's pretty good. That was very good, Arthur. It was. Thanks. It was. Thanks. <laughs> What happens if I click the piano? Take the power of words and a melody Whoa. Okay. And Put them together and sing with me Say what you mean Why and is she mean an, what you like say an actual By learning singer. a new word every day uh, That autoplay piano though? Send me the MIDI, bruh Dance! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. All right, we we need to get to the race, man. I can read more words too. Dance. I have no idea how to get to the race. Wait, we already saw this. That was very good, Arthur. Yeah, yeah that was good. That was not much better the second time, unfortunately. Uh, is there anything hidden in the void? I don't think there is. Why are books delicious things? Because they're food for thought. Uh, I have several other questions. What about the bicycle? Bicycle. Guy? Bicycle. Wait. <laughs> the disc just had to Whoa! go in order to float that. If I click her. Words are more powerful than you can imagine. Oh. Phew. 
Woo! Why were those electrified? Wait, there's a little... No! My taskbar is in the way. Hold on. I can fix this. I don't think I just fixed it. Arthur's Reading Race by Mark Brown. <laughs> I Hi, like how so much I'm of the screen Arthur. is just a void. Please don't stop working. Please don't stop working. Come on. Let's race to the what? ice cream store. Oh, no. Pick which character you'd like to be. I think... I think whatever AI I'm going to face it, I'm going to be Arthur. What, whatever... Now click on the stoplight to pick the level you want to play. Oh. Hard. Medium. Easy. We're going to go easy mainly because I have a feeling most of the screen is just going to be this you're ready, void. And, easy. Uh, if there's someone else who wants to play with... Okay. The no, computer will be me. To start playing, pick oh, okay. a card I can from see the stack. The like this. Now click on the picture that matches the All word right. on the card. B O A T. Oh, okay. When you Boat. move it, gets now rid of the void. I get to go. Yep. Now let me see. G A S gas. All right. All My right. turn. Oh, I actually get to draw a card. Nice. Look. B O O K. Book. Now I get to go. Wait, what was that little arrow? Now mean? let me Do I slip see. on the water and then F go forward. O R K Fork. My turn. Alright. Let's go RNG. We don't seem to be getting very many. Yeah, it seems to be just three letter or four letter words. H A T Hat. DW's word. Super califragilistic. Says don't walk. You better go back and wait for the light to change. Now I get to oh, go. Oh, I. Now let but me. But that's a crosswalk. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the card says shirt. Uh, whatever. My turn. Yeah, whatever. He wasn't jaywalking. I mean. All right. Let's F try that again. I S H. I remember that though. Fish. Standing on it says, "Hey, now don't walk." Now I get to go. Now let me see. M I L Hey, hey, you're, you're doing the same thing. Milk. Go Watch back. Watch out. It says don't walk. Yeah. You better go back and wait for the light to change. Boy. My turn. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever, uh, that the AI has ever landed on that, uh, to my recollection. P. Right, pan man. A. Oh, I didn't get the shortcut. Pan. Now I get to go. Now let me I see. see. Keep on the B grass there. O W bow. My turn. My turn. C A yeah, I got R past another crosswalk. Car. Now I get to go. Now, now let I me get to see. go. S O C K sock. My turn. Does the difficult Oh, I'm getting all of the... The words are only three and four letter because um, I selected P easy difficulty. See, I, I thought e um, pie. it was going to be just a word. I get so. to go. Now let me see. We'll, we'll go on, we'll go on hi, um, high difficulty. D. Bird. My turn. C. O. W. What happens if you land Cow. on that space? Now. I get to go. Get a two letter word. Now I let me see. P. Man, I. She's right on my tail. N. Pin. My turn. D. O. Is the AI always going to select the right answer dog. and everything, though? Now I get to go. Now let me see. Now let P me see. A. No. X. Yo, I. No, you Tech. don't. My turn. Wait, I get to go for. I think I've guaranteed myself the victory. Because there are no... I swear to... If she gets a five-letter word, I'm going to rage quit. O O R Door. Now I get to go. Now let me okay. see. T <laughs> R E E Tree. My turn. This has a nice little cheesy ending, by the way. I remember it. If you can see a little wet paint space there. Uh, B E D 
bed. <laughs> a little jump there. I get an ice cream. GG. We have some terrific flavors today. Frog Pizza chip. chip. Hell yeah. Bumpy Road. Bumpy Frog Road. Eggshell. Instead shell. of Rocky Road. Shoelace. Candy. Moon. Nut. Ripple. Dirt. And prune. Banana slug. They have all of my favorites. Toenail crunch. Toenail crunch. Why? Click on your flavor now. Uh, hmm. You know, from the beginning, I was craving those frog chips. That's my favorite flavor. Oh, really now? Here's your that ice cream. That sounded a little, uh, fun. <laughs> Taste Man, it. her arm can extend really far. Oh, I gotta taste it. What, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing? No. No, you can get Get back here, I'm boy. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Come again. Do you want to play again? If I hit yes. Am I gonna be Do able to Do you want to play again? I'm gonna hit. I, because if I hit no, then the game might crash. If I hit yes, then I might not be able to change the difference. Okay, let's play again. Let's play again. Let's race to the ice cream store. Yeah. Can I? Ch now click yes, on the okay. stop Let's card. Go hard. If there's someone else who wants to play with you, click on the other picture I think too. My cat's drunk again. All right. Uh, let's go. Okay. The computer will be me. To start playing, pick a card from the stack. All right, what like kind of words this. do we get this time? Purse. Whoa. So much P harder. You <laughs> just had to keep rotating there. Oh god. E. I can see how this Purse. could get a little now more complicated. Now I it's get the same to go. board though. Now let me see. S E. You can't a seem to change the AI L difficulty. Seal. My turn. Okay. C L O so now we're up to five letter D. words. Whoa! Complexity! Now, I get to go. now let me see. W H E. Alright, I'm gonna e do one more turn and then we'll L go to the next game. Wheel. My turn. I thought um I guess that only happens if you sit on uh, if you land on the wet paint space. Um and I thought that was the ending too. If you land on the wet uh, the G wet paint. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Seven S letters! S E S. Glasses. Um, <laughs> now I get to I go. I thought uh, that was the now ending space, and you would sit on the wet paint, and then that would be the ending. I don't a know. Speaking B of paint. L E. No! Table. No, you bitch! No! I see a shortcut. Shut up! Ah. My well, turn. <laughs> no, it's not your turn. I'm gonna hit the stop sign and see what happens. Ooh, I get the walking dude. That's always a plus. If you want to have this book read to you, click this button. I think we're good. If you want to play inside the story, click this button. Alright. So there you go. That was Arthur's Reading Race. <laughs> So, the next game on our list is, in fact, Maisie's Playhouse. Let's do this. You bet I want to play. Loading. to Maisie's house. Click on the door if you want to go inside. Satan? Okay, got 
gotta click on the door. Welcome to Maisie's house. Click Maisie's on the bedroom house. door to go to Maisie's bedroom. Click on the bathroom okay. door to go to Maisie's bathroom. Or I'm Maisie's not interested in the bathroom. Full of fun and interesting things. Fun and interesting Use your things. To look around. All right, this when game has some pretty good sound effects. It's up. Click on it. Okay. If you want to play games, freeze for a second there. the easel button. The easel if button. If you need help. All right. Let's see the shoes. Shoes. Okay. <laughs> Do that. Uh, why can I only, like, only open the top drawer? What's the purpose of the bottom one? Okay. I, all right. It's lit. Oh. And the pillow does a nice flip. <laughs> the sound effects. Oh, a little Maisie appears in the door there. Hello, oh. Maisie. Hello, Maisie. Oh. Um. Maisie. Okay. You you do realize I'm watching you, right? Coat? A oh. Scarf? You're okay. You're, oh! You're just Maisie's dressing up. Maisie's going to play outside in the snow. Goodbye, Maisie. Have fun in the snow. Okay, maybe maybe don't focus on making sure that you're facing us. I, I don't want you to turn your neck like the exorcist. That's not okay, Maisie. You're a little too young for that. Eddie and Tallulah, and then you got Maisie. Ooh, let's play the guitar. Yeah, man. Ring, 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 ring. Um, to change panda. levels, use Ooh, these buttons. Change levels. Let's go. What is the easel Click on a button to play an activity. We can play. Have fun. Let's play some activities. All right, let's go with the person first. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hello, Maisie. Hello. Hello. What have you got in the oven, Maisie? Gingerbread cookies. That is How not what she said. She said, What's wrong, Maisie? Oh. oh, no. Some of the cookies are broken. Never Wait, mind, this Maisie. Is... We'll help you fix your cookies. This theme. This theme. This is a famous ca to classical help music Maisie piece. Fix her cookies, the name's not coming to me. Pieces together like a puzzle. I'll when put it in finished, post. You can help Maisie decorate them. Oh, okay. If you need help, it's like one of those unknown puzzles in the ruins of Alf. Uh, do I drag this? Or oh, okay. You click and then you click. <laughs> Hooray! There you go, Maisie. Now let's decorate the Aww. cookie. Use the fruits and candies to decorate the cookie. When you've finished, you can print oh, out your masterpiece now. by clicking on the print masterpiece. To help Maisie. Absolutely. All right. Uh, let's see, where should we put this? There. We'll put this there. Heck yeah. Um, let's give him a nice top hat. Um, let's see. Ah, he doesn't need those. He used to show off his peppermint testicles. Um, let's give him... Give him nice colored teeth. Yeah, there you go. Let's give him the green one out, because you know he'd be smoking that. Uh, and then, how could he be complete without that flower shirt? There you go, okay. Uh, oh god, which button do I click? Uh, is it this What's one? What's wrong, Maisie? Oh no, another cookie is broken. Another cookie's mind, broken. We can fix that one too. Oh, we gotta fix that one. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, let's go to the next level. Hello, Maisie. Hello. Hello. What have you got in the oven, Maisie? Gingerbread cookies. How exciting! What's wrong, Maisie? Oh no! Some of the cookies are broken. Never mind, Maisie. We'll help you fix your cookies. To help Maisie fix her cookies. Oh, okay. There are more pieces that we have to put in now. It's a little more complex. Let's go to uh, level three. Let's see how complex things can get. Hello, Maisie. Hello. I don't remember playing What's this wrong, too, too much. To help Maisie fix her cookies, put the pieces together like a puzzle. When you all right, let's do this. There. Uh, ooh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, do I have to? Is that? Can I rotate these? How do I rotate? Do the arrow keys? I feel like I need to rotate these, but I don't know how. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, maybe I should have listened. Right, that would have been a good idea. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, never mind. Okay. That works. Good job, Maisie. You actually Hooray! kind of puzzled me there. Now let's decorate the cookie. Dun, 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 dun. Use the wow, there's a lot of stuff. To decorate the cookie. Eh, we don't need to decorate that one. Let's see, what else do we have in store for... Oh, okay. Save print output? No, we don't need to do that. <laughs> okay, back to Maisie's house. Um, let's see. Uh, we're on level three. Let's see, what other activities do we have? Uh, we got a window. Good morning, that? Maisie. What are you going to do today? Maisie's a dude? Oh, you're going to a party? How exciting. My life is a lie. <laughs> to help Maisie get dressed, you need yeah. to pick the clothes oh my goodness. from the wardrobe I, I should right not be, for the day. I should not be exposed Just to this. Just take a look at the clothes in the wardrobe. And when Wait. help Maisie Dude. get ready for the party. She wants to wear a pink party dress, pink socks, and red party Wait, hold on. <laughs> Make up your mind with the pronouns, narrator. Um, c come over here. Does this seem like the uh, average wardrobe for a little boy? Help Maisie um, get ready for the party. It's an experimental she wants to time in his life. Now I understand that. Um, <sighs> no, I, I, no, 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 no. Go, go back. I, I was. Oh, okay. I was, I was really feeling the, the, the red one with the hearts. We'll click on it anyway. Maybe it'll still go. I mean, we're spending so much time in here. He really needs to come out of the closet, you know. <laughs> spending so much time in, it's time to come out. Okay. There you go, now you're matching. You just got, you just got food to suck. Uh, this girl is a boy. Well done. Oh, Goodbye, I had to put Maisie. on socks Goodbye, and shoes. Have fun at the party. Okay, like, Good morning, Maisie. All right. What are you going to do today? Oh, you're going to play ball with Cyril? How exciting! Help Maisie get ready to play ball. Yeah, uh, you're gonna be the ref. Yeah, dude. And I'm really feeling these um these uh, Swiss cheese shorts. No, no, no. You you wear those Swiss cheese shorts like a real man. Oh, okay. Fine. Well Go done. Those. Goodbye, Maisie. Goodbye, Cyril. Have fun playing ball. Playing ball. All right, back to the house. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. Even the cursor is excited about this. Uh, all right. Let's interact with stuff. Oh, we can make 
can fill, we can fill this, we can fill the bathtub with stuff. All right. Uh, flush the toilet. Can we do anything with the pa toilet paper? No. Um, can, the towel can do some sick tricks. Oh, we can change the color of the towel over there. Oh, there's a bee outside that window. All right, let's go to the train. Hello, Maisie. Hi. Hello. Ha ha, you're driving the train. How exciting. How oh, exciting. We've dropped this? to two frames per second. A number nine car. A number oh, one A nine car. car. Mr. Game and Watch. A number four car. What's with the lollipop apple tree that keeps resetting a to the left of the screen? <laughs> to help Maisie, you need to load the animals Wait. onto the train. What? Why take are we? Look at the number on the fly Why are we putting snakes car? and then birds in the same the train car? When you find the group of animals that matches the number on the flag, and why do the birds? Click on them. Why do the Keep birds even until all Why why do the birds even need a train car? They can fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, six eight, eight, nine. Eight. Hooray! Nine snakes. Yeah, I'm not putting any birds in there with them. Those birds will be swallowed alive. <laughs> And those are some interesting train sound effects. <laughs> train sound effects! <laughs> okay, um... You can go in one. there. One! Hooray! One bird! One bird! Alright, watch out for those snakes. One bird! Three! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the, the, the brake sound effect, dude. Oh, let's put apples in there instead of animals. One, nah, two, let's three. put the sheep in there. Four. There you go. Hooray! Four sheep. Four sheep. Maisie's Playhouse is really good at multitasking. It'll teach you what a train sounds like. One. Uh, two. It'll, and it'll teach you how to count. Five. Six. Hooray! Six ducks. Hopefully that train car will get derailed. And then finally we got five characters from Sing going into One, the caboose, two, I guess. Four, Seriously five, though, those guys look like rejects from three, Sing. Five pigs. I never saw that movie. I heard it wasn't very good. Yeah, I saw the trailers too. I saw it, it was alright. All the animals are on the train. Oh, and now we're going back to very high frame rate of the train. We were at 2 FPS before. <laughs> now we're at a much higher frame rate. Well, back to the bathroom. We did all that in the bathroom. Man, Maisie, you're, you're one productive mouse. Um, painting. Pa let's go with painting. Yes. Uh, it would help if the easel was facing the other way. Uh, excuse me? Oh! And Mtropolis 32-bit Windows player is not responding. Alright, so as I was saying, it would help if the easel was facing Hello, the other Maisie? way. Hello! What are you making, Maisie? Oh, you're painting pictures. How exciting. 
Oh, there we go. Now we get to see. A bunch of to help boots. Maisie, you need to pick the picture that's different from the others. <laughs> For a second, it if sounded like the narrator was like, "What the, the hell, Maisie?" Button. If you want to go back to Maisie's oh, house, me. choose the <laughs> house button. Have fun. Okay, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what the fuck, Maisie? <laughs> a boat. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Whoops! Try again. Am I supposed to? That's right. I'm supposed to click the one that's not like the other. Hooray! Oh, and that's definitely how paintbrushes work. Pictures you boats. just paint over well one with one paintbrush, and it makes a different drawing. I actually, well, I played the music part of that. I never played the actual paint part. Um, and I was never much of an MS Paint person myself. I got into Photoshop at a relatively young age. You're very smart. Man, he's he's going to grow up to now be a Van Gogh. All the pictures are bikes. Good job. No, Picasso, because he has two eyes on the same side of the face. I was about to say a Van Gogh home. Oh, that's good. Tooth. Oh, toothpaste. Just well done. Wow, you can actually hear the sound cues say what what Hooray! each drawing is if now you're if you're a little too toothpaste. if you're a little too well worried done. that you can't decide which one's not like the others. Hello, Cyril. <laughs> Cyril, <laughs> you want to fly so. kites with Maisie? Oh, they're going to fly kites. Okay. Oh, the music is so happy. Oh, this music is so happy. It's too happy. It's too happy, man. What's this? Is this the kitchen? Yeah, it looks like it. it looks like the clock here in this room is moving about as fast as mine in my run-dry internal battery Pokemon Emerald game. Uh, is there anything to do in here? Oh, we can change the don't hug me, I'm scared calendar up here. faucet. Make her water bill go right up. Can we open the fridge? Yes, we can. What, what is that? Was that jello? Hello, Maisie. Hello. Oh, no, hello. What's in the freezer? Popsicle. A treat. A treat. Oh, he just walks back out. Alright, Maisie. Just, I'll eat the fruit, then. Don't you worry about me. Can I scoot in the chair? I'm so bad at this. Okay. I think all the activities are the same. Um, what is this one, though? I'm interested. Oh, that's oh, a, that was an alligator? I thought that was a sheep. Hide and seek. What fun. What fun. What's a hide and seek game? Charlie, Cyril, and Eddie are hiding. Take a look around. When you find someone, click on them. When you find if someone, you click help, on them. Choose the panda button. <laughs> if you if need you help. Want to return to Maisie's house, choose the house button. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, I think we're done here. There you go. Maisie's Playhouse. One of the greatest CD-ROM games from my childhood. I think I remembered it being uh, a little more difficult than this. <laughs> a little more confusing. Uh, looking back, um... It's got some riveting gameplay. Would recommend. All right, coming up now is Elmo's Deep Sea Adventure. Oh, we got an opening animation. Hello, Elmo. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> it's an Elmo anime opening. Yo, my dude. <laughs> my dude. All right. So we got... Oscar, what are you doing down here under the sea? <laughs> I am on a scientific expedition. 
Oh. I am looking for soggy, broken, underwater junk. Uh, I'm a guess that sounds like fun. Oh, yeah? You think so? Well, then I don't you think can very, help me. I don't think very many kids who are playing the CD-ROM game unironically for fun Submarine? are going to know what a What's scientific a expedition is. <laughs> and yet they decide to explain what a submarine is. Ooh. Oh, that's not CGI when at all. you're out there in your <laughs> sub, you can use some of these underwater tools. You've got your underwater microphone, your underwater light tool, underwater light and your tool. underwater hand tool. Oh, hand use tool. Use whenever you see something that bubbles. When Use it whenever you see something that bubbles. Move your hand tool to the submarine and click the button. All right. Oh, it's actually if my If you cursor. happen to see anybody from Sesame Street down here, park your submarine and see what they're up to. You know, consider the fourth wall broken. Um, okay. <laughs> Let me see here. So... Resolution on this might be bad, by the way. It's OBS seems to only be recording it in some sort of picture corner mode. Elmo never knew that Oscar was a scientist. Okay, I clicked the submarine. Oh boy, we're going to explore the ocean. Keep an eye out for broken dishes. Keep an eye out for like broken this. dishes. When you have a bunch, come back here and we'll see what we can do with them. And the so ocean is full of plastic. Good. Scram already, <laughs> will ya? <laughs> wow. Grouch just, I think Grouch just became the main anime villain. He's just like, scram already, will ya? Dude, that's not okay. If you want to launch the mini sub. Click the button. Cl click what button? Wait, am I? Oh, I'm controlling him with my mouse. Oh, I see a, I see a mouse. I, I see, or I see a dish thing. Don't forget to look around for... Uh, I got one. Yeah. Yay. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. Is this like an oh, actual... Oh, there's some junk here. Yeah, is, there a, is this like an actual open world <laughs> exploration? Very thing? good. Very good! Yo! This is a legit, like, open world exploration game. This is like No Man's Sky Sesame Street Underwater Edition. Wait, hold on. Is that junk too? No? What's that thing? It's bubbling. Poke it. Poke the stingray. Oh, okay. Oh, laughter is contagious. Okay. Oh, oh! My little bit, bit of my hand was there. Uh, oh, more junk, more junk. No, 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 no. Oh, I missed it. The control's a little jittery. What was that? Uh, Elmo thought he saw some junk for Oscar. Yeah, Elmo thought right. Just don't freak the screen out. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to eat my lunch out of that either. All right. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Elmo. Okay. Where did you learn to fly? Huh. It looks just right for Oscar. Yeah, he's the trash man. Look, I'm trying to drive as safely as I can. I'm trying to drive as safely as I can, okay? God, I don't want to crash, all right? But when the screen moves as quickly as it does, there's hardly anything I can do. Wow. <laughs> I'm a who used to eat off of that. Like, this would be like if one, in one of the top-down Legend of Zelda games, when you go to a different screen, you immediately slide at the speed of the screen sliding to the other side of the screen. And then take impact damage on the walls. And then Link looks at you and says, like, hey, why are you fucking up? Oh god, stop. Oh my goodness, I'm just crashing into everything. Something seems to be in your way here. 
Yeah, thanks for the info, Grouch. Wait, is that junk? I think that's junk. Let me click. Let me click. Remember to look for open I'm trying, okay? <laughs> Let me pick this up. Very good. You found one of the dishes that Oscar wants. <laughs> I'm on an underwater expedition. Leave me alone. Wow. Elmo sees a jiggly jellyfish. Oh, a jiggly jellyfish? Hell yeah, dude. I'll be That's right over he there. Oscar asked us to find. Okay. So. Um. Where did Elmo see that? Oh, there's the jelly. Wait, is that the? No, that's not a jellyfish. Oh. 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 Wait, why did I do that? I'm a jerk. I'm a monster, dude. Oops. Sorry, Pelican. Oops. Sorry, Pelican. Elmo thinks you should check out that. I will check out that jellyfish. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo likes that. <laughs> Elmo seems to have some sort of interesting fascination with jellyfish. Hold on, let's talk to this thing right over here. Okay. We're just gonna juggle it then. Hold on, who's this? Oh, we, we can't interact with her, why? She's there for decoration. What's that? Wait, hold on. More junk, more junk. Oh, man. I wouldn't want to eat as much off of that dish. <laughs> What's that? I'm so invested in this exploration, oh, a dude. A seahorse, of course. A seahorse, of course. Oh, and there's some fish licking algae. Is. Okay. Oh, more trash. Wow. Alright. Sesame Street the spreading them the environmental the messages in the form of CD ROM gaming. <laughs> isn't sure what that is. Yeah, what is that? Oh, sir. So we're just gonna be confused at what that is, but that's not what you want me to interact with. Or maybe that's... Oh, this. I think that's... That's a lot of fun! That's a lot of fun! Disrupting nature! I mean, to be fair, um, when I get a back view of his submarine, they do kind of look like industrial, like, radioactive symbols, rather than propellers. In case you didn't notice, that thing is in your way. You'll have to drive the submarine yeah, around it. Thanks for sharing, Mr. Grouch. I didn't need for you to commentate on the fact that I'm a horrible submarine driver. That's a sentence I never that thought I'd say. That's a sea air. That's a sea insurance. Let's touch that. That should be a real invention, though. Get that out and just feel her things. Oh, and Elmo can't pronounce anemone either. Is there like a specific amount of dishes that I need to get? Because um, it doesn't seem like they're respawning. Alright. We got 11 so far. Man, this is um, this is uh, an underwater adventure of a lifetime. Try parking your sub at the trash can lid. Oh, parking my sub at the trash can lid. Okay. okay. You can park your submarine at that trash can. I'm trying. Get ready. Get oh, set, okay. Swim. Oh. <laughs> Oh. What are they doing? Okay. Elmo has a foot hey, fetish. They're taking turns in their tubes. But I can't tell whose turn is up. Let's use Elmo's deep sea microphone. Oh, we microphone. I was going to say, you're going to get out your um your uh them. your person feeler. Find the person who is yodeling. Find the person who's yodeling? Did I hear that right? 
That's not a yodel. Wait! So, the people in the running right now are a rooster, a sentient clock, and someone who's yodeling. Okay. <laughs> he just he just swims out and starts yodeling. That's the way to use the microphone. Yeah. Find the person who is using a vacuum cleaner. Wait, why are people using vacuum cleaners when they're in the ocean? I'm the one who's picking up trash here. Wait, let me hear that again. That sounds like underwater Darth Vader. It might be a vacuum. And that guy's fapping. Uh, okay, I got it right. Suck! Find the person who is popping popcorn. Popping popcorn? Alright, let's see who's getting cancer today. Oh, that sounds like some cooking up some cancer to me. Oh, and that guy's playing some guitar. Still not as good as Maisie's guitar, though. I have no idea what that is. That's gotta be it. Do 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 do. How many of these rounds are there? Elmo thinks you found the right tuber. Okay, it's your turn. Find the person who is burping. Find the person who's burping. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. There's a little pump in that one. It burped so loud it sounded like a train horn. And that guy's got an elephant burp? I've been trying to perfect mine. Uh, excuse me. Oh, that guy shouldn't count. He said excuse me after he burped. I don't even want to pick him. Come on, man. Saying excuse me ruins it. Uh, excuse me. Yes, you're uh, right. Uh, Hop in. Find the tuber with a pet seal. A pet seal? What? Okay. Oh, it's the sentient clock guy again. Okay. And then... Some guy laughing. Okay. How many of these rounds are there? Does this just keep going on and on? Oh, he was... He was making a beat there with his feet. Alright, this just seems Find to keep going on and on. Alright, can I like is there a way to exit or if you click there again, I'll bring you back to the underwater trash can. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Shut the hatches! Crank the propeller! Dive! 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 Here we go! Yeah, I think we've had enough of that minigame. Whoa! That was some time warp stuff there. Wait, am I in a new area? Excuse Elmo, but you're bumping the submarine a lot. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't know that was an obstacle. There's a place that you can park your submarine. See? That trash can lid over there. Alright. The ocean is now No, open. not again. Come oh, God. In. No, I'm done. No more finding Elmo. That's good enough. This was Elmo's deep sea adventure. There were a handful of other Sesame Street games that I have. I got, um... Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna find the tuber with the pet lion. Um... Um... I had uh, Ernie's Adventures in Space and a few that involved like letters and numbers and Don't stuff. Forget, when you think you 
This was the one that always stood out, though. Shut up! Shut up! There you go. Elmo's. Elmo. Shut up! One of them has to get out of the water now. Zoe needs our help to do her job. Please use your microphone and listen you know to the tubers. You know what? S s strangle her with the microphone. Make her drown. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, that was Elmo's Deep Sea Adventure. On to the next one. Here we go. It's time to play Favorite Places. IBM. That's the first time I ever saw that logo in my life. IBM. Crayola, of course, I was familiar with. Hence me getting this game. I don't remember seeing that bear on the CD. Mandela effect going on here. Also, why is this totally a rainbow road? Yo, I remember that fire truck though. And the rocket ship. And of course, the frog. How can I forget the frog? Yeah, and the bear. Yo, these memories! Oh my god! Click on a coloring page. Yo. Then, click go. And it's music. Yo, that, that opening sequence blew my mind as a kid. Every single time. Oh, these music though. Um, oh. What was the one that I always liked? I think... It was uh, around town. I liked her. Uh, what? Uh, I guess I can't pick around town. Uh, well, that's the case. Vehicles. Let's vehicle. Vehicles. Let's color. Let's color. Or maybe I already had <laughs> around town selected. But yeah, here we are with Crayola favorite places. Um, so you really don't have like a picture that you're supposed to match with, so you can really go with any color you want. Uh, more textures! You can go with more textures! And that's the first time I ever heard the word textures as a kid, and I had no idea what it meant. I had no idea what it meant. More textures! So many textures! Textures! Textures. Uh, you know what, let's make the ground look, look like that, yeah. The floor is green and purple. That's a, that's a good meme. Um, more textures! More textures. Oh man, the sounds of those arrows brings back those memories, dude. Uh, More colors. <laughs> the CD had to reload in order to get get me to more colors. More yeah. colors. I mean, just looking here. Look at how many options you have for colors. This is insane. Um, let's go for a let's go for a blue. teal blue. Yeah, teal blue race car. Uh, ooh, I like the polygons. Um, More colors. Yep, and there black. is a black, so that's good. Oh, man, the sound of the fill bucket. Uh, big crayon. Big crayon. Um, hold on, let me get a nice azure going here. Aquamarine. Uh, uh, that works. Um, let, and let's scribble the sky. Or actually, uh, big eraser. Let's go with the big eraser. My headphones. It's not a good time. Headphones. There we go. Good thing that eraser sound is looped. Little Let's crayon. go with a little crayon and uh, try a little More bit colors. of a better blue. Turquoise. Turquoise blue. blue. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, I'm the coloring master. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I like the sound though, man. I used to play this game for hours, just coloring stuff, and the data would never save, so I would just recolor everything. Um, I like how it's letting me color on this specific layer and not scribbling over anything else. That's really cool. Um, I forgot that I actually did that. Yeah, there's so many options in here. Um, you get spray you got, can. You got the spray can. Um, more colors. More colors. More, more, more colors. colors. So many colors. Uh, white. No, let's not go with white. Gray. gray. Let's spray the tires gray. Get that nice little texture going. Make them look a little rusty, you know. A little rough around the edges, but it's a nice Formula race car nonetheless. Um, and for the front, 
More colors. More colors. More colors. Uh, let's give it a More colors. sweet red. More colors. Red, orange. Red, orange. That works. Um, paintbrush. paintbrush. Fill bucket. Fill bucket, yeah. Um, it's called the paint bucket in Photoshop, but as a kid, I always use this, so I call it the fill bucket. Paintbrush. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't, I didn't think I had a more textures selected, but but I guess that works. Um, textures. Ooh, I like that little tie dye there. Paint hose. Let's go with the paint hose. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Hi. Um. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Sorry. <laughs> I guess the paint hose just makes you trip on LSD. I Do you don't want remember to that. save? Yeah, I would, I would save the picture and then it wouldn't save, so. Nah. No, thank no, you. No, thank you. Uh, what happens if I use the hose on this? Oh my god! And the plane! You know that rocket fuel, though? United Airlines! <laughs> What kind of more textures do we have? Textures. More textures. Uh, oh, this one looks kind of cool. Textures. Um, Paintbrush. Paintbrush. Oh, is this the one that I was just using? I think it was. More textures. Textures. So I guess the paint just kind of does fill that. Fill bucket. Uh, let's go with the fill bucket and... Yeah, there we go. Do you want to save? No. No, thank you. I don't you. want to save that insane picture. Uh, let me go back. Art room. Color by numbers. Ooh, color by numbers. This is another one I used to love as a kid. All right. So color, color by, by numbers. Color by numbers. Oh, and we said that at the same time, dude. Uh, Three. Carnation. Carnation. Yeah. Um, I always used More to love colors. the way the the picture. Twenty-four. X-ray gray. Ooh, my lucky number, twenty-four. Uh, I always used to love the way the color the, the picture would reveal itself after coloring it and the way the polygons work like more color you think it's just going to be a 2d shape but then it turns out like super 3d and stuff um and i mean of course you can go with the little crayon the big crayon and whatever the hell this is magic sparkle magic dust. sparkle dust is that what it said magic sparkle dust let's magic go sparkle dust yes more colors 30 black 30 a sparkly tire swing. Nineteen. Every kid's dream. Blue. Oh God. Okay. You know what? No. Magic sparkle no. dust. No. Don't do magic sparkle dust, kids. If if an adult More walks colors. up to you and says if, if and asks if you 15. want magic sparkle Orange. dust, you tell them no because that's no good. Uh, why do these have to be different colors? More colors. Twenty-two. More colors. Violet. Twenty-five. Yellow. Um. But yeah, 18, red. The, the way these always used to reveal themselves is amazing. 20, tan. Uh, what happens if you do the wrong color? 26, zany yellow orange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 28, zany yellow brown. orange. Um, More colors. 7, green. Make them green. And of course, you don't have to like click, click, click. No, just just one will do the jit. One, one will do the jungle trick. jungle green. Jungle green. And it... 15, orange. And it'll say the color every single time, so it's actually More really colors. good when it comes 17. to Quicksilver. teaching kids about the colors. And, I mean, after playing this game, Quicksilver is such a common color in all of these that I eventually learned what exactly what Quicksilver looks like. I think I remember, like, going out and helping my parents with yard work with, like, the shovel and stuff and be like, that color is Quicksilver. And be like, yeah, um, about that. 20, tan. There we go. Uh, is there anything left, or is it the magic sparkle dust? Oh, wait, there is. There is something that's left. There we go. Gotta get the CD to load. Hey, we get a little show from the dancing ice cream cones. Because why the hell not? Oh, yes. So obviously, um... Do you want to say? No, no thank um, you. Art room. You also have connect the dots. Do I want to see that? Um, obviously there is no... Option. Okay. Okay. Um, connect the dots. Connect the dots.
So let's do one of these, uh, and then that'll do it for this one. Um, obviously there's no story mode or anything like that for this game. Um, it's really just have a picture, have fun. It's one of the reasons why I love this game so much, so... That's just how it goes. So let's have some fun connecting some dots, boys. Connect the dots to see the picture. See how quickly I can do this. Hey, I clicked on the right one. And like, this would always be sort of deceiving to me, because like, you think these would go in a straight line, and for the most part they do, but look at that. It went in a curve. So like, whenever, after playing this, after, we would do connect the dots in like, my school, and I would start, like, making random bumps as I was going from dot to dot connecting them. My teachers would be like, what is wrong with you? And I'd be like, Crayola Favorite Places taught me that this is how f life works. But it's you not- You did a great job! This must have contributed to my teachers thinking I had a screw loose. Perhaps I did. Connect the dots is rather counterproductive. Um, but you can see the others, and of course it'll bring you right to the coloring as soon as you finish the connect the dots, which is pretty Art interesting. Room. But there you go, that's Crayola Favorite Places. Of course you've got the scribble, scribble pad. pad. Um, just to have fun. Um, Orange. You get a far superior version of Microsoft Paint, to be honest. Because you got Texture. textures! Eat your heart out, Microsoft Paint. This is why Microsoft discontinued you and still allows... Uh, Crayola favorite places to work on some versions of Windows 10. <laughs> oh yes! More textures! More textures! Texture. For the win! Look at that bitmapped background. I mean, it's probably this entire video is probably going to look pixelated anyway because I'm uploading it in 360p for the ultimate 1990s style quality uh, for a nostalgic throwdown. Um, but yeah. There you go, that's Crayola Favorite Places. I had so much fun with this as a kid, um, as I did with all the other CD-ROM games in this video. So, on to the next one. Do you want to stop coloring? I'll stop all coloring. Right. So let's watch the outro sequence. See you next time. Yep, there is an outro sequence. The frog, the lights go off and you see his eyes. That used to kind of creep me out as a kid. And of course you have the little and stuff here. Boom! E-A-I! Interactive. It's in the interactive game. Now, I've played every game um, from this video at least once. The one I'm about to showcase is probably the one I'm least familiar with. Um, I was less of a Thomas the Tank Engine CD-ROM guy and more of a Thomas the Tank Engine model train guy, which then led to me building stuff with Kinex. And um, At some point I will actually do a Kinex showcase of Kinex models on the channel as well, because um, I make models all the time too. In fact, I made a few yesterday. So. <clears throat> This one, uh, I decided to include regardless, um, because it's Thomas and Thomas the Tank Engine was still a part of my childhood. Let's go. CD-ROM intros for the win. Hasbro Interactive. Click on a number and type your name. Okay. One. One. Two. 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 One. Two. Three. Four. Three. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Two. This is, this is a train game. This is a train game. Two. One. One. Two. One. Two. 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 One. Two. 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 <laughs> one. One. Next, type your name, then click on the start game button. Oh, it's not game sensitive. It doesn't let you... It doesn't let you use numbers? 
Well, that's lame. Um... JD54. There we go. That works. Click to click to start game. CD had to reload itself there. Oh my god. Yo, Thomas's face though. <laughs> Feel free to use this game as YTP fodder, Hello. by the way. I'm sorry, sir, fact, but we're running out of coal. Feel free to use this video There's as YTP fodder. Call for one or any of my videos as YTP fodder. I'll be right over. Oh, the best lip sync in the world. <laughs> Thomas's face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, I now, keep screaming, good, but God won't answer. Situation, and I'm not surprised the passengers are grumbling. I need an engine to go to the mine and collect some coal. Move your so mouth you when you get talk. Back to work. James, I think that's a James job. have you... come a long way. Yes, sir. I'll go as fast as I can. Yes, sir. I'll go as fast as I can. I must hurry. The passengers are waiting. <laughs> Be careful, James. Don't go too fast. There's a bend ahead, and I can't slow down. <laughs> oh, I like trains. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, James. I'm sure someone will soon be along to help us. Okay, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in one of these CD-ROMs. What was that animation? Click on Thomas to start trouble on the tracks from the beginning, or click somewhere on the island to choose what you want to do. Click on Thomas when you're ready to start the... Let's go. Where can James be? I'm ready for He's this. He's usually so reliable. I'm sure something must be wrong. James was fetching coal for the other engines, but he's disappeared. Oh, I'd like to send like Harold to search for him. Certainly, sir. Right away. Please hurry. If you fly Harold the helicopter over the island, I'm sure you'll find James. Ready, Harold? All systems go, the dark sir. Wolf theme from Link to the Past. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the, with the Thomas character. Oh! Oh, you can actually just move with the cursor, that's cool. Um, okay, where are we headed? Uh, should I look at the map? Are you sure you want to leave? No! Click on the island again if you want to do something else. Okay, so are we just supposed to find him? I don't know where he is. Yo, analog movement though? Eight directions. Do you think the pilot of the biplane has seen James? Perhaps he will lead you to him. Okay. Thank you, biplane pilot from no, uh, out of nowhere. Um, I feel like I'm going off course. Perhaps I should follow the tracks as well. The biplane could be trying to help you. Perhaps the it knows looks where like James trying is. to dive bomb me. Okay. I don't trust that biplane. Think the pilot of the biplane has seen James? Perhaps he will lead you to him. All right. Well, he's going straight down, so I don't think I'm going the right way. Wait, is that James right there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mission accomplished, sir. James is in our sights. All right. You've done a fine job, Harold. I'm so relieved that you found James. I'll put your junior search and rescue navigator certificate in my office. 
Wow. If you'd like to find James again, click on the level gauge uh. or click on Thomas or the island if you'd like to do something else. Yeah, let's do something else. Are you sure you want to leave? Click on the island again if you want to do something else. Let's do something else. Oh, here we go. <laughs> James looks so look good. sad. Poor James needs help quickly. Oh! Just got back and apparently there are whales in the water. Interesting. Okay, so... Find James. Um, Find James. So we did that. Get James ready. Hold on a sec. What's this? Whatever it is, it's making me thirsty. <laughs> All the other engines have gone off to work. When can I go too? Just as soon as we fill up your coal and water. It won't take long. Oh, please hurry. <laughs> I want to go all around the island so everybody can see my shiny new red paint. <laughs> James can't start work before. yet. Can you help to get him ready? He needs oh, okay. water first. Yes, I do. I need yes, water to make do. lots of steam. My water Hello, tank frog. has to be filled. It's in my tender. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you water. It's not working. All that's happening is a frog. Um. Hmm. You have to like click the frog out or something. Oh wait. Hold on. Try opening the filler cap before you put water in the tank. Ah. Okay. Try what? opening the filler cap before you put water in the tank. Try opening something before. Oh. Uh, let me see. Oh. Oh, now there we the go. the filler cap is open. The You'll soon have a good drink, James. There we go. When I you need click water. on the handle on the water tower, the water will go into my tank. Yes. Ready now, James? No, sir. If I'm going to work well, I'll need a full tank of water. Need more water. Cool. All right. You can close the filler cap now. All right. He's got a full tank. How much coal do you want, James? Oh, wow, that My bit tender's mapped, empty, sir, and I need a full tender so that I can do lots of work. Lenny face. Um. All right. So nothing like that. That water's just taunting me now, isn't it? Um. Hmm. More coal, please. James's tender okay. isn't full. I still need more coal. But yes, what a yes, good job you've done. The tender's full, so you can All start right. doing some jobs in James's cab. You'll there need that go. big shovel to put lots of coal on the fire. Oh, okay. The steam gauge is still yellow. Well, James, I think one more shovel of coal. That's exactly right. The steam gauge is green, so there's enough steam to drive you. Now there's just the right amount of steam to turn your wheels, James. What happens if I put I'd like to whistle in. now, sir, to let everybody know that I'm ready to leave. No, no, no. To put no. the shovel Don't whistle. Down. Don't whistle. Don't whistle. That's how I got costumes, Um. Okay. James will whistle if you click on the chain in the cab. Uh, oh. You can't go while your brake's still on, James. Well, fine then. Be that way. Um, where is the brake? Just open the throttle and James can get on his way. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Just see how my paint gleams. Am I done there we with go. Ooh. Shine? Ooh, first I feel person. Just like I did uh, the accident. What an excellent job you've done. Your master assistant driver's certificate's waiting for you in my office. Goodbye, James. I'm so pleased you're back on the tracks again. Alrighty then. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's actually freakishly Look, happy. I am a really splendid engine again. I know, right? Oh, yeah, I do that backwards one. Excuse me? We're so glad to have you back on the tracks with us, James. Same here. <laughs> this is not okay. Oh my... 
click on Thomas to start trouble on the tracks from the beginning, or click somewhere on the island right, to choose let's do what one you more. want to do. Lori, I want you to go to the. Doesn't he look like those enemies from uh, Super Mario 64 that like push out from the walls? That's engine work anyway. Where's James? Who cares, Yugi? And the other engines have no sounds like. Cold. This is an emergency. Okay, but I hope it doesn't take all day. Shut up, Pokeball. All right. Um. Okay. Kaiba of the dump truck. Catch the coal in the horrid lorry, Ooh, but make timing. sure you Here don't catch any tools by mistake. Ready to begin, Lori? Let's go. Why is it always me who has to do the dirty jobs? Where's James? Alright. Oh, we only have to get five? Okay. This reminds me of like those uh like old Atari games with like the paddle, where you have to catch stuff in your paddle. You nearly finished now. Only two more loads. Hooray! Hooray! He sounds very happy. So I'm not supposed to catch any tools. Interesting. I'm gonna need a good clean after all this. What good luck you were here to help the horrid lorry. I'll put your junior coal sorter certificate in my office. Lot of Click on the level gauge office. if you want to put some more coal in the horrid lorry. Or are you Not sure you want to leave? Click on the island again if you want to do something. Alrighty. Here we go. Thank you, Lori. That was very useful. Now the engines can start work again. <laughs> and I can send someone to rescue James. I hope those engines remember who helped them out. Oh, they won't forget. Click on Thomas to I start trouble on can. the tracks from the beginning, or click somewhere on the island to choose what you well, want to do. That. Click on sense. Thomas when you're ready to start the story. That, my this friend. is the exit. Click here to leave the island of Sodor. That, my friends, was Thomas and Friends' Trouble on the Tracks. And I didn't remember anything from this game. What was that animation with the people flying out of gyms? That was the funniest thing. Oh, man. Okay. Well, then. With that, on to the next game. <laughs> oh man, doesn't that sound bring back memories? Well, this is phase four. I finally have myself a virtual machine where all these CD-ROMs that work, or supposed to work or at least are, they're going to work. So, let us begin with, it's already in the machine, but it's Mr. Potato Head Saves Veggie Valley. So, uh... Real quick, before we start, uh, my my apologies in advance if the system audio uh, from the games is super crackly. Uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. Uh, I've tried different things, I've tried different sound stuff, uh, and none of it really changed anything. Um, 
But what I do know is previously, uh, when I was doing a test recording of this, the audio was way too loud, even for my ears. So, um, naturally, I do have it down, so. Running 256 colors, yeah, whatever. Here we go. Ah, the play school start. Let's go, let's go. turning point software. I used to play this all the time as a kid, just the story mode, and just do it over and over again. It's funny, because during my test recording, I realized I forgot everything. Uh, but thankfully, I remember it all now. So, it shouldn't take too long to get through this. Um, and also, during my test recording, my camera battery ran out like, like a billion times. I don't plan on doing that now. So, here we go. Do you want to play the whole adventure? Or do you just want to play the Midway games? We're doing the whole adventure. Alrighty. Now tell me, do you want this game to be easy, or do you want it just a little bit harder? You know, to be fair, I've never actually done a little bit harder. Let's go! I don't know if this is actually going to change anything in the story. Um, that big old cloud well, looks like we'll it's going to burst on the country fair. The pie-eating contest going to turn into a mud pie contest. <laughs> if only it would rain here instead. It hasn't dripped a drop in weeks, and our baby spuds are thirsty. All of Veggie Valley has <clears throat> been dry as a dustbin. <clears throat> if we don't get some rain soon, we'll wither into a family of potato chips. <laughs> I have an idea, Pop. He laughs about everything, Let's doesn't go he? We're going to die. <laughs> Then they'll be sent to the fair and rain here to help our babies grow. Good thinking, sweet potato. That's using the old potato head. Okay, that one was actually pretty good. We have to wait till the disclose down. <laughs> Yo, those sound effects though. Coming with us, Ma? <clears throat> oh, I'd love to. But I'd better grind up some fertilizer for the little ones. Oh. Good luck, my sweet patooties. Thanks, Ma. Ma. Gotta grind up some fertilizer. Okay, anyways, um... So you can mess around with a bunch of stuff on the screen. Talk to these guys. We're thirsty! We're thirsty! What's this? Shh. The babies are sleeping. They weren't sleeping a moment ago. Now, how about the sun? Can we do anything with the sun? Oh. Me IRL. Um. Oh, there we go. Nice. All we ever get is junk mail. <laughs> and of course, whenever you see the orange arrow, that's where you're supposed to go. Uh, you don't really have anything Hop in the on, backpack right potato. now, so you can't really go. We're gonna figure out a do way with that to yet. bring and, uh, that rain cloud back little, uh, to Veggie Valley. Mr. Potato Head ha having an orgasm next to the backpack. That's for dressing up, and we're gonna be doing some fun stuff with that as well. Good morning, vegetables. Hello, Mr. Potato Head! Morning, sweet potato! So everybody talks about how, you know, in fiction, like, they would have crushes on very bizarre characters. Uh, I think I stand above you all. And, um, yeah, as a kid, I guess I thought that radish was pretty. Maybe it was the voice, I don't know. Obviously that's worn off, but, I mean... I don't even know what this guy is. It's been so dry around here, even my rock garden is dying. Oh! 
Like, is he supposed to be a squash or something? I don't know. It's been so dry around here. Immediately picks up a bucket full of water from the well. You guys are idiots! Sorry, I didn't get that on my chest. Huh? Oh. Thanks. I needed that. He needed that blowjob. To be fair, um... Morning, Irma Eggplant. Fine day, isn't it? If you like it hot and dry. Call from M. Not gonna answer that. Uh, so, to be fair, um... Duh! That phone made me lose my train of thought. Ah! Oh, that's right. To be fair, um, where I live, we've been going through some pretty, um, some pretty humid weather recently, and it hasn't been fun. Because, like, at the end of August, it was supposed... Like, there was one day where it's supposed to be, like, the last hot day, and after that, the temperature dropped. And it was nice. <laughs> I needed that temperature drop. Um, and now the temperature's back up, and it's humid as hell. And it's, it's, it's not fun. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, it's like only one week away from fall, which is my favorite season. Because it's not cold, and it's not hot, it's just right. Especially here in New England. Um... But if this is the kind of stuff I'm going to have to deal with, we might have a different story on our hands. And I think the aftermath of Hurricane Jose is about to hit us, too. Um, but, you know, we're New England, so we don't get it too bad. Moving onward, we got Irma Eggplant. Speaking of hurricanes, Irma. Irma, my dude. Um, what did she say again? Oh, hold on. Discs, disc has to load. This ground oh. is so oh, hard that lip dry. Sink. Woo! Oh, this Oops. ground is so hard. Wait, what just happened? Oh, the shovel. That's right. The shovel grows a face and says, ow. Right? Yeah. Slow down, will you? <laughs> what? That is so fucking weird. Wait, Pop. We might hurt the caterpillar. Oops. Oh, uh, I hope I didn't scare you, little fellas. <laughs> uh -uh. Because in this game, it's a sin to walk around obstacles. Maybe if you gave us something nice and crunchy to eat, we'd get out of your way. I'd say they're hungry. Maybe we could what, find what them something What accent is that? That eat. sounds like a cross between, like... An Australian and a Texan accent. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try to imitate it. Um, I am historically awful at imitating accents and identifying them. So, uh, let's see. Something nice to eat. Where can we get that? Let's turn around and find out. Back to the home. Well, they're caterpillars, and anybody who, I mean, around the age that I was playing this game, I was also, well, I had long since first read The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but, I mean, one thing we know about them, they like those leaves. Crunchy leaves. Can we keep Oh, them and up? they're extra crunchy. We certainly don't want to leave them behind. <laughs> and yeah, now we have stuff in the backpack, so you can check the backpack if you want. Let's go back! This game has a pretty good soundtrack, too. Good, good morning, morning vegetables. vegetables. Hello, Mr. Potato Head! Morning, sweet potato! Yeah, it's the voice. Moving on. 
Let's give him the leaves. Those caterpillars will love these crunchy leaves. <laughs> Yo, those, those sound effects, though, making me hungry. Not for leaves. Yo, that scarecrow over there is like... Look, Pop, a bridge. Not one of those crazy troll bridges. Let's troll put our potato bridges. heads together and figure out how to get Let's across. Let's put our it. potato heads together. Let's see. I also do spin dashes to turn into other costumes. Supersonic Odyssey leaked footage. All right, let's talk to this guy. Nobody crosses this bridge unless they're dressed like a cowboy. Like a cowboy? Oh, okay. During my test run, it was like um, a royal queen. So I guess it's randomized. That's cool. Add some replay value to that. Also, you know what he sounds like? Um, he sounds like a cross. He, he sounds like a cross between, um, of course, the the Monty Python bridge guy and um, oh, just a little bit of it. And then whatever that guy who screams, "Run, bitch, run!" Sounds like a cross between those two. Okay, let's make ourselves a cowboy. Uh, we're, we're obviously gonna need a horsey. Um, oh. um, let's see, what else are we gonna need? Cowboy boots, of course. God, it looks so bizarre on him. Um, don't quite need to change our nose. Uh, or eyes, for that matter. Um, this is a nice... Is that a cowboy hat? Normally I'm good at recognizing what cowboy hats are, but, I mean, we're gonna need... Whoa! I look silly. <laughs> okay. We're gonna need. We're, we're gonna want that, uh, and then we're also going to, I guess, put this on. Yeah. All right. So let's go back up. Don't hit exit because I think you'll return back to normal. So click up there. And whoa! Yes, sir, partner. A couple of cowboys like you are welcome across my bridge. <laughs> Thank you, cowpoke. <laughs> We'd be much obliged. Hmm. Because, oh, okay. More spin dashes. Uh, because every kid knows what much obliged means. Every kid playing this game. Whoa! Okay, so... Really, no need for a bridge when he can just telekinetically now we warp us like across. Our old selves again. Moving on. Listen ah, up, little area. spudkins. We need to get across this field so we can get to the fair. Fearless leader, I will follow you anywhere. So I don't know, cause I did um the easy mode during the test run, so maybe that's why I was the queen. I don't know. Uh, but either way, um, listen closely to these sound effects. They might sound familiar if you saw the first. If you saw the first video uh, in the Nostalgic Throwdown playlist, uh, not these, though, not these. This one right here coming up. Yeah. Those are the biggest vegetables I've ever seen. They are quite big. Let's slide down. I was gonna make a really, really sick joke there, but I, I think I'll hold off. Yay! I don't think we can ever get back the way we came. We need to hightail it to the fair and get that cloud back to Veggie Valley. What he just said there, you never get back the way you came. Keep that in mind because if you get stuck in this part, I knew we'd make it. You know that you're well, not going to miss anything. For only back five there. cents per potato, you can treat yourselves to all the wonders inside. Wow, that's only ten cents for both of us. Sorry, How sweet times potato, have changed. but I didn't bring any money. Oh, now what do we do? Say, if you dress like pigs, you can get in for free. Okay, so how's about that? 
So, um... It was also pigs in the easy mode, so... That, that should be kept in mind. I like how Sweet Potato never falls in. But she ends up getting dressed like a pig, too. Uh, okay. So. We are going to want... Um... Of course, the pig nose. Ring, 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 ring. Yes. Uh... Oh, pigtail, of course. Pig ears. Uh, and are there little pig feet we can put on anywhere? Or will that do it? Uh, nah, no, no, no. Um, I don't see any pig feet anywhere unless these are supposed to be pig feet, but I, I highly doubt it. What a couple of fine-looking pigs! Into the fair you go! Okay! Yippee! Wow, Music Pop, in this part is super catchy. It's some fair. nice classic 12-bar jazz. Hole, my little Woo. Spud Muffin. So good. Hey, look! An airplane ride! I have a great idea! You and I are thinking exactly the same thing! <laughs> yeah, of course, it even has the same bass line as you hear in all those cliche 12 bar airplane. jazz lines. We need to pull that big rain cloud back to Veggie Valley. Okay, at this point, this was the first time there, that um, we need my camera actually ran out of battery. Yeah, so already we're doing better. Rain at the fair. I tell you what, I'll loan it to you. Yay! But first, you'll need to do four things. Uh, I'll make it's a funny. List. Everything in cartoons, they all you have four fingers. Uh, so, airplane. you need to do four you things. Two helmets, <laughs> so you'll be very safe. A uh, picture of both of you, so <laughs> I can remember who borrowed the plane. And, uh, oh, yes, uh, something good and crunchy to eat. I'm getting very hungry here. <laughs> here. All Thanks. Right. We can do all that, can't we, Pop? Yes, yes, we Sure. Can. <laughs> like I always say, two potato heads are better than one. <laughs> well then, okay, so. Uh, you can quit at this point? What? Okay, so anyways, let's go back here, and uh, you can go to multiple different areas here. Um, I say we start at... Uh, actually... Let's open this up and we can look at the list here. Uh, so let's go for the propeller first. And the propeller can be found in the Midway games. Uh, but I believe you can also find a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, so while we're here, we might as well the game Midway. do a whole bunch of stuff. Pops, can we play? Pretty please with a cherry family on top? With a well, cherry family on top. Way. Of course we can. So let's start off with a photo booth. It's a funny photo booth. We could use a picture of us, Pop. A super silly one. The super sillier the better, my cutie patootie beauty. <laughs> In they go. All right. So, it's a funny photo booth, so. These are the googliest eyes I've ever seen. Oh, you can individually change them? Nice. I didn't know you could do that, okay. Uh, you get the vampire teeth. You get, uh, the big-ass smile. Oh, God. <laughs> Literally Spongebob Potato Edition. Um, how about these for ears? You get these ears. Actually, you know what? Uh, your, your angry, angry eyes, eyes, just in case. case. Um, and then, let's see. Is that really all you get for options? What about the what about the footwear? Oh, there we go. Um, you get the swivel chair. Yeah, that's real. Uh, and then let's see, you get roller blades. That'll do it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we take we click that. 
Uh, hold on, is this actually gonna try and print? No, 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 hold on. There we go, okay. Yeah, you can actually print stuff, um, but I don't have any, I don't have a printer connected to this computer. I have it connected to my other computer, though. I think we should change back Excellent. to our right. old cells before we leave. Same with that. That's a good idea. You don't want to pull out with a swivel chair. So now we have a picture of ourselves that'll take care of that. We scored. Onto three the counting points. pin book. We scored three wow. points. Now we have six points. There we go. Okay, it's, it, you have to get 10 in the easy version, so. We scored four points. All right, there we go. Now we have 10. 10 points. Right. <gasps> oh, not enough. Now we have Am I gonna be one points. off? Come on. Yes! Okay, we just have to get three the next time. This is intense. I think I'm gonna have to do points. this twice too to get both. Now we have 17 points. We scored <gasps> three points. Yes, okay. Now we have I don't care, Creative Cloud. I can points. update you later. Good game. Woo! Come and win okay, the um... glow in the dark Super Bowl. Am I gonna get that? Excellent score, my friend. And just for you, a fabulous phosphorescent glow-in-the-dark Super Ball. Because wow. every kid knows it's what phosphorescent light means. The dark. I could even use it as a nightlight. Hold on to it, sweet potato. That's a prize of a prize. But we're not done here. Three, we have to do that again because there's a pinwheel. Two, one. We're gonna use that for a propeller. Let's go. There we go. Very nice. Already with the fours. We need two fours. We scored four points. And four threes, so I can do that. Yes! So we got a perfect we score 24, though. Four points. Let's find out. Now we have. Eight points. Three for three. We scored four points. Now we have 12 points. Oh! We scored Four points. Now we have 16 points. Am I gonna do it? <laughs> we scored four points. Now we have already met the goal. Points. Good game. Hold on. Let's get the perfect. No, 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 no. We keep going. Three. What? No. Two. One. If you get it early, you can't do the sixth? That's BS. Now we have seven points. <laughs> the disc, the disc was like, now we have, we have seven points. points. When your operating system needs to calibrate in order to find out what four plus three is. We scored <laughs> four points. Now we have 14 points. We scored too much four points. Now we have 18 points. Oh shit, are we about to get 22? Ah, oh, 21. That'll do three it. Points. Now we have more than 20 points. Great more game. than 20. Great game. Let's get that whistling pinwheel. Fine, fine job, sweet potato. Here you go. 
a genuine pinwheel. And the Mr. Best Potato Head saves Veggie seen. Valley, teaching kids the incorrect pronunciation wow, for genuine. Is the wind. Since, I don't know, probably around like 2000 or 99. Somewhere around there, 2000 or 1999. Um, uh, but we're not done here, we also got match and catch Good luck. fishing. Good luck. Like a, fish. I don't know if there's like a time loop. We're right? shaped like triangles. All I know is that we're the, shaped like circles. The uh, the voices are we're legendary. Diamond shaped fish. We're rectangle shaped fish. We're shaped like octagons, eight sides. You know, everybody memes like Pajama Sam and Thomas and Friends Trouble on the Tracks, but no one memes that part. We're shaped like octagons, eight sides. Mamma mia, that was a so good, I'm -a gonna give you a prize, a brand new jump rope. I want it, can there I have it, go. can I, can I? May I have it, you mean, little one? May I have it? May she, Papa. Of course. Thanks can I have? A lot. I bet you can. Those teachers who are like, I bet you can go to the bathroom. Make you say, may I? Oh, All right, back. I just had the best idea. What is it, my little French fry? I'm gonna catch us a rain cloud. Not without me, you're not. All righty. So, looky, looky. Now we can go we're immediately going to go to this way. Um, this is why I did Step the midway aside, first, because Together, this will immediately bring us to, to this part right here. To great heights. Stop! Wait for me! Well, I'll be mashed. <laughs> Mr. Carrot Top, stop! Let me down, Carrot Top! I need the rope! Dude! Oh, dude! Stuck again! Stuck? The Ferris Stunk wheel is again. stuck? It happens. Oh. But my pop is up there! And he needs the jump rope! Sorry, sweet potato. I'll try and fix it while you try to figure out a way to get the rope up and your pop down. You can do it! And don't worry your pretty potato head about me! The view from up here is spectacular! I can almost I like almost how he feels to eat to yell, but you can like... Well, I'd better go find something to help Feels my the pop. need to yell, but it's literally like... I don't know. If we... Game theory, get on this. How tall is Mr. Potato Head? Uh... I don't know. Um, anyways, let's go to the... I don't... I can't remember what this is called. Tell me. Come one, come all to the Country Fair Silly House. S Country Fair Silly House, okay. Have fun! Into the hole we go, Lenny. It's dark in here. Wait it a minute. Certainly is. I have something bright and bouncy in my backpack to light this place up. Yes, we do. And let's use Might it. My glow in the dark super ball. This should light I up. Like the, the sounds place. it makes. Wow! It's lighting up the room. And no, these aren't graphical glitches. This, this must is actually be a how magic it looks. Super ball. Um, until it's done bouncing. Whee! This is hard mode gonna take hard, longer to bounce? That would be silly. I can almost see the whole silly No, it's taking a sand amount of time. Also, the matching game was not harder in the a little bit harder mode. So. Okay. And right over bouncy, here. Bouncy springy shoes! We got bouncy springy shoes. Which and will they be quite useful perfectly. for our endeavors. So let's head back now that we have an ability. Those are some shoes. I That'll let us jump Patty super Pan high. Jump up super high, high up in the sky. Yippee! -yay! I did it, Patty Pan. It's all lit up. Sweet potato, I can't thank you enough. That's okay. It is the potato's rule to be helpful whenever possible. 
I found some bouncy springy shoes inside what's, the What's that supposed to be? Like some sort of, of them off brand Boy Scout motto? All, you help to light the way As a life there. scout who's close wow, to wow, Eagle, wow, I don't know what to say. Bouncy springy shoes. Mom will love them. All right. Back out we go. Oh, and she's, is she wearing? No, she's not wearing the shoes right now. But now she is. I bet these bouncy springy shoes will help me boing. Yes, right just put the them over the your Ferris other wheel. shoes. I knew you could figure it out, fine. my little spud. <clears throat> I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. A one click. I bet I can bounce higher than that. A two clicks. I'm halfway up. A uh, three clicks. I'm almost high enough. And a four of them clicks. I Woo! did it. Okay, partner. <laughs> yeah. Give me that rope and we're gonna rustle us up a rain cloud. Get ready to eat a little rope, rain cloud. His voice just <laughs> dropped Good like shot. Now let's five get on with it. Shall we? I, I forgot about that. Rain. Much longer. He, he lassos the cloud and calls like, away. Good shot. So now they have the cloud basically on a leash. Because, uh, you know, you can do that. Um, but we're not done here. Mr. Mushroom, I think I have something you might need before we can borrow your plane. Excellent, sweet potato. Let me have a look. Um, that propeller. Look what I have. Look what I have. Sweet potato, you have outdone yourself. A pinwheel. This would make an excellent propeller. <laughs> As someone who's also in aerospace engineering, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> okay, so. We have the propeller, we have two, we have a picture. What we still need is two helmets and something nice and crunchy to eat. So let's head over here to this tent. And in here, we got ourselves a pie-eating yeah, contest. A pie-eating contest! Yummy! Makes my mouth water and my tummy rumble just thinking about it. Mm -mm. What I'm wondering is what kind of pies those actually are. Because considering we're all, th these are all vegetables, if they're vegans, um, they're cannibals. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna click on... Well, hello there. I've been looking high and low for some lucky young'un and their ma or pa to join our pie-eating contest. Y'all interested? Are we ever! Can we, Pop? Can we? Can we? Why not, my little sweet potato pie? Come I was gonna, on! I, I thought she was gonna make some sort of head pun, since she's lettuce or something, cabbage or whatever. Uh, so let's click Welcome, on the Welcome, y'all! I'm head of lettuce! Take oh, a head of lettuce, there you go. Time is rumbling, and we'll all get started eating pie. Alright. So if I'm correct, this is just a spam clicking <laughs> sort of thing here. Um, this is some really accurate throws with the pies, and the pile doesn't even get smaller. Now on the count of three, I'm going to say go, and y'all can start chowing down. First team to eat both pies wins. <sighs> what do we win, head of lettuce? <laughs> Why, the pie tins, of course. Oh boy! Ready? One, two, three, go! We did oh. it! <laughs> Impeccable tech skill! And our winners are Mr. Potato Head. The spam Head clicking! And Power of Geometry Potato. Dash! Hooray! We did it! Uh, excuse me. What kind of burp was that? Then we Come on, get man. to keep the pie tins. They make excellent Ugh. hats, don't they, Pops? The best. And that was just from me making myself burp. Since we wore those pats of butter, you guys remember? Day probably don't. Uh, from the end of the Superstar Saga walkthrough, I had a pretty good one. Um, man, that was that was a the, well, the end of the Superstar Saga walkthrough. That was still more than three years ago. Damn. Okay, last location, the popcorn stand. Something nice and crunchy to eat. 
with a side of possibly giving you cancer. What I'm wondering is, Let's this is going to be harder. Medium and big. Howdy do to the three pumpkins. Go on. Nope. Show them where to go. It's just as easy. Easy money. I was going to say, are there only two? You go there. You go there. You go there. Wow, silly faces, though. And now, I'm pleased to announce the winners of the little... Medium, Medium and, and big, big contest. contest! Yeah! Yeah! This is no joke. It's little, medium, and big artichokes. Go on, show them to their winning crates. Wait, oh, okay. So it is harder. You just have to do multiple? Maybe that's what it is. Huh. And now, I'm pleased to announce the winners of the little, medium, and big contest! Let's go. So, so now what? Ready? Oh, there we go. Crunchy popcorn! Thanks, Mr. Popcorn! Because, you know, that's how it works! Crunchy! I'm gonna keep this. Nice and crunchy. We have everything we need. And my camera is going to run out of battery. Let's see if we can fi probably can't finish this um, in time, but let's let's see if we can. Mr. Mushroom, I have some of the stuff you need before we can We have all the plate. stuff we need. Excellent sweet potato. Let me have a look. Pop thought these would make perfect helmets, didn't you, Pop? Not only will they keep us safe, they are the height of fashion. <laughs> Oh, Hang on to is those, that true? Mr. You're what about the cowboy outfit? I mean, I can understand not the pig, but... You know. Here's a picture of my pop and me looking very silly. Thanks. Now I'll remember who you are. <laughs> that wheeze laugh, though. Excellent sweet potato. I am so hungry, I don't think I could have waited another moment. Okay, we just eat it, it container and all. We did it! We did everything we needed to tug that old rain cloud back to Veggie Valley! Put on your helmet Let's go. and hop on in. We're ready to fly! Come on, Spud Muffin. <laughs> all right, your time to so proud. Da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. There they go. Ready? Here we go. I'm out of here. Drops the pinwheel on the plane, and the phone's ringing. The cloud's like, I'm out of here. You did it! Yippee! <laughs> we, we sure, sure did. did. Woohoo! Now, now, how are we going to get it to rain? We can make ourselves into a tower and go up and talk to the cloud. Okay, then biggest veggie first. Uh, that'll be you, Irma. It sure would. Now, next biggest. Mm, who's it going to be? I actually had to take that call. Here we go. Go on, folks. Stack yourselves up on me. I can take it. Yes, yes, you can, Irma. How you? How you? Yay! <laughs> Yay! Here I come! Whee! Going up! Oof! Yay! And finally, you. Hippity hop! Whee! Watch out, cause here I come! Here we go! Won't you please rain for us, Mr. Cloud? No way. I'm in a bad mood. Maybe we can cheer you up. Not a chance. I bet we can. My pop taught me to make the funniest faces around, and I'm going to make one. It'll cheer you up whether you like it or not. 
Well, let's go with the old These are the gold crazy, eyes, yeah, crazy the eyes in addition to the old swivel chair. Um, let's go with this for a nose. Uh, we need a good mouth, though. That can be taken out of context. Uh, come on, man. How about... Is there one where there's, like, a tongue sticking out or something? No? Well, let's give her a microphone. I mean, why not? And then, let's go with the vampire teeth, I guess. That'll do it! Well, Mr. Cloud? <laughs> That's a little gross. <laughs> but it works! Here we are, Tonka Search and Rescue. Let's play. Also, again, I apologize if the sound is crackly. This is the best I can do. Also, this um, might have been... I, I might have actually played this more as a kid than Atari Arcade Hits. Uh, because I used to remember that Hasbro intro more than the other ones, and oh man, that is some serious crackling with the speakers. I'm so sorry. It's the best I can do. Tonka. Tonka. Yo, that music though. Okay, this is actually extremely catchy. Unironically. Wow, look at that chin! That chin is very impressive. Here we are. Hello there! Glad you could make it to the dispatch center. I'm Tonka Joe. Okay! Tonka Joe! Search and rescue mission I'm not sure if I remember help. that. But first, how about signing in? Or you can continue with a game you already started. Alright. Man, I, I can't stop staring at his chin. Um. Just type your name first, then hit that return key. Hit that return key. Is it recognizing that I'm on a uh, Mac? Okay. Now, how about your age? Same thing. Hit that return key when you're done. Well, what's he going to say if I'm just, like, randomly just playing this game at 17? Fantastic! Now, type in your hometown. Hit that return key, and we're all done. Not sure if I should put my hometown here. Um... Because, uh, the Donald was trying to dox me before, and he got my... Fantastic. Now, type in your hometown. Yeah. Hit that return key, he... And we're all done. He got my town wrong. Um, so I'm not exactly sure if I want to tip him off to the right one. So you know what? I'll put the town in which I was born, as opposed to the town in which I live in now. I think that's a fair trade. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> we need your help fast at the search and rescue sites. But before you rush over, you should take some time to learn how this dispatch center works. It has a lot of very cool stuff. I'll bet it does. It's Tonka. 
All those Whoa. over there? Press those if you want to learn all about Tonka trucks, heavy equipment like bulldozers and front loaders, and all of the rescue vehicles. You should know how they work, so you can use them at the rescue sites. You might want to fix up some of these vehicles out of the Tonka garage. Press that button to go there. At the Rescue Academy, you can learn how to fly a copter, pilot a boat, or drive a fire truck. Just press this button. These buttons. Press these to find out about the rescue. Look at that guy's face. You can do to help. When you find one you want to respond to, move your cursor over the screen here and click. If you want to continue with a game you started before, or quit playing at all, press these buttons. Over there is the print center. Just move your mouse here. We won't be printing today. There's plenty of fun stuff to do. But there is plenty of fun stuff to do. Click on the 911 and I'll go through it all over again for you. Huh. Alright, where should we start? Oh, that's cool. Got a little system here. The fire boat is just like a fire truck, but it moves on the water instead of on the land. So this is just it like a model showcase? Alright. The pickup truck is a very useful utility vehicle for a variety of jobs. In the cab, I'm so sorry about this audio, guys. I, I can I can hear it too. Like not I'm not even editing in post yet, and I can already hear how crackly it is. This is the best I can do. I promise you, once we get past the era of CD-ROM gaming, you won't have to deal with anything like this. Don't you worry Just about anything much further, though. If you need my help. Uh, let's go with uh, this, this leprechaun-looking guy. We keep all the rescue vehicles in tip-top shape and ready for anything. The fire truck needs some new equipment put on. And the rescue boat is in for sprucing up. Oh, I think I remember this. And the helicopter needs some serious repair work done on it. You can earn your master mechanic certificate by helping out. Just click right here on the screen to head for the garage. All right. Let's go. It's weird how well, all... Hello, oh, hello. Glad you could punch in today and help out at the Tonka Rescue Garage. My name is Sparks. And I work here at the top What's her name? Every day. Sponks? This is where we keep all those rescue vehicles in tip-top shape and ready for any emergency. Just click right on the fire truck, the helicopter, or the rescue boat to see what needs to be done in there. When you're done, there'll be a master mechanic certificate waiting for you at the print center. If you need any help, just click on the 911 or click on the go back sign to get back to the dispatch center. Tonka Search and Rescue, teaching kids that you call 911 for anything you need help with. Since, shit, probably like 1999 or 2000, I don't know, man. Um, what happens if I click on the flag? Nothing? Okay. It's weird how all these- Click right on the fire truck, the helicopter, or the rescue boat to see what needs to be- It's weird how these games are, they're sort of like, they're, they're sort of in window mode and sort of not. It's it's bizarre. Um, it's like it's it's in full screen, but the game is just like in one little box in the center. I'm gonna zoom in when we actually play this, so you don't notice. Uh, but still, it's it's weird. All right, let's go with the fire truck. truck needs to be fully equipped if it's going to be used for a rescue mission. All right. All that stuff needs to be put back on. Move your cursor over to any piece of equipment and click on it. Then All right. Move it to the truck. Find where it belongs and click to put it on the truck. Oh, it you sort of shows silhouettes on where. Just click on the 911. You can go back to the All right. Use that wrench to bolt the equipment to the truck. Uh, that's a drill, not a wrench. I think. Looks more like a drill. Has a weird bit, though. Um. Hmm. Oh, I see. Alright. That makes sense. That was terrific. Now try another piece of equipment. So it's like an electric wrench. Okay. 
You know, I should know a little more about this. I'm working on an Eagle Scout project right now, and it requires a lot of labor, labor similar to the stuff that you'd use these tools for. Uh, where you have, we, we're building a structure for, to put a map on. Um, and I should know more about this, but I don't, I guess. That was terrific. Oh. Now try another piece of equipment. Uh, let's see. Let's go with these axes. At least I think those are axes. They look like axes. Rescue axes. This is PC gaming at its finest, my dude. Uh, okay, where does this go? God, I feel so stupid right now. Um, let's put that back. That was close! Try that was close! There we go. Is that a baseball helmet? Alright, and then... These... Go right that here. Terrific. Nice. That was there we go. Now these... Does that go there? Okay. And then... Do I have to put this inside there? No? Okay. That was close. That was close. Uh, oh, do they go here? Yeah, they go there. Okay. Uh, and then these things. Do they go on the front? They do. Okay. Nice. Now this truck is ready for action. You can print a picture. I hope it has gas. On the print icon. <laughs> Click on the cab to step inside. That sounds a little necessary, you know. Click on everything to see how it works. <laughs> when you want to drive on out, start the engine, move the gear shift, and press on the gas. So we do have you gas. Help, okay. Just click on the 911. Alright. Okay, that's the siren. Interesting. Uh, we got our sunglasses there. Of course, the, the fuzzy dice hanging from the windshield. Always gotta have those. It's a necessity. Um, we got our hat there. Uh, shift gears. And... What? Okay. Great job on that truck. It's ready for any emergency now. All right. Cool. Hello, doggy. Oh. Oh yeah, you better get out of the way. No, 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 no. Okay. This rescue boat was brought in for a new coat of paint and some fancy decals and flags. All right. Let's start with some new paint. Just click on the paint sprayer, then move it over to the color you I think I remember doing this part. Again. You can go back to the garage by clicking on the go back sign. If you need more help later, just click on the 911. Okay. Now move the paint sprayer over the boat. Whenever you Ooh, let's go. Nice. I like that. Uh let's put that back. Your Ooh. boat looks terrific. Thank now you. It's time to hang some flags. Just click on one of the flags and hang it on the pole by dragging it up there and clicking again. I did not drag that, but that works. We take those. those and now we got them decals. There. That decal goes on the bottom. That means near the front of the boat. Yep. On the side. That decal goes on the cabin in the middle of the boat on the side. Oh. That decal goes on the cabin in the middle of the boat on the side. There. That decal goes out. That means near the back of the boat on the side. 
Because who cares about the other side? Just the side that's facing us. That's all that matters. Hey! It says my name on the cup. Alright. All right, let's go. Never looked so good. Now let's do the helicopter. This helicopter was brought in. Oh, look at the dog. There are a lot of mechanical type things to do on this chopper. Mechanical type things to do. Just pick up a tool by clicking on it. And I'll talk you through the maintenance of this fine machine. You can go back to the garage by clicking on the go back. Use the monkey wrench to tighten the bolts on the landing skid. Just move it over the glowing bolt. Ah, there they are. All right. Cool. And now the screwdriver. You're right, because a screwdriver is going to fasten tight the door on a helicopter. Now, what do I know? I'm not a mechanic. It's probably just like a giant screwdriver or something. What's this? Use that power buffer to clean the front windshield. Oh, it's tough okay. to help people if you can't see them. Oh, that woke him up. Ooh, sorry, baby, but this chopper needs to get fixed. Maybe you should find a quieter place to snooze. She's got a point. All right, that looks good. Better tighten those bolts on the main rotor. You gotta be able to. Third time's the charm. Very nice. And now we got this guy. Hammer him in. Four. Four's good. All right, and we're good. Click on things to see how they work. If you want to take this chopper up, then turn on the ignition, pull back on the control stick, and away you'll go. Need my help? Click on the 911. Uh, okay, especially inside of a helicopter or a plane, the first thing you want to tell someone is not click on everything to see how it works. That's how you disconnect an autopilot and kill everybody on board. Um, but anyways... Let's see, what do we do first? Something with the ignition, I imagine. Not that. Not that. Uh, there we go. There we go. Very nice. That was some uh, 2001 graphics. Good job. Right, let me redo the whole fire truck thing, because I think I screwed that one up. <laughs> Great job on that truck. It's ready for any emergency now. And with that, all three are done. That was a lot of work, and you did. What is she standing on? A master mechanic certificate waiting for you at the print center. Just click on this award icon to get it. What was she standing on? I don't know. Maybe the water's not very deep there. Tonka Town salutes you. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Job. They have a special award just for you. To get your copy, just select the print button. All right. <laughs> Susie Sparks. Okay, that's her. That was her name. Cool. 
Copyright. 1997. 1997, that's when this came out. Okay. Wow, that's old. That's old even for a CD-ROM. Um, hmm. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then you got these here as well. Nice. You know, I'm going to screen cap this and upload it to Twitter. See what people's reactions are. So that way you guys can see how far ahead this was recorded before it actually came out. Um, and I mean, this is the ninth game that I've recorded for this <laughs> this video. There's still one more that I have to record, and, and I don't even have that game in my possession right now. I have to get that from the library again, so. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's hit the back arrow here. Ooh, that's 60 frames transition, though. It's not very often that you see 60 frames stuff in CD-ROMs, unless it's Atari Arcade hits, of course. Uh, so... We've done Susie Sparks. Just click on the 911 if you need my help. Let's do this guy. This is the Tonka Rescue Academy, where you can train for all your rescue missions by driving, flying, and boating. There are all kinds of things to learn and challenges to meet. You can earn your diploma by attending the academy. Just click right here on the screen to enroll. Sir, yes, sir. All right. Another member for the Tonka team. This is Tonka Academy, where we're going to teach you how to drive with pride. The hell is that architecture over there? What is that building? I'll be your teacher while you learn how to put out fires, pilot the rescue boat, and fly that chopper. There are some serious emergencies to respond to out there. Yeah, like you're like responding to the emergency of that that building with the slanted roof on the on the left. It's ridiculous. Should probably give myself more lighting. Oh, never mind. That's not plugged in. Okay, let's go here. Oh, damn. That did not look safe at all. This is firefighting training. Once fire leaps out of a window in that building, fire your water cannon into the window by clicking on the fire. You gotta be fast. Make sure you don't shoot any of the people who pop up once in a while. <laughs> of course, if you do, well, it's just water. You can always get my help by clicking on the 911. Or click on the go back sign to return to the academy. It's not just water. <laughs> that that might knock the, the the wind out of them. Just saying. There we go. <laughs> congratulate Richens. That's the new congratulation. Alright. Oh, another playing cards. Damn. GG. Uh so what do we do now? We gotta rescue the people from the building or is it good enough that we, you know? Uh, oh shit! Now we got to do this again. Okay, I'll be right back. You have to sort of anticipate where the cursor is going to be. You can't just wait until the cursor reappears in order to move it. You have to be like, okay, move it a bit to the right, move it down and a bit to the right, move it up and a bit to the left. You know. Ah, okay. 
So do we just click around here, or what's up? Looks like the only place that I can click is there. Uh... All right, whatever. Um, I'll do more when I have when I get the chance, if I ever get the chance. Maybe on a stream or something in the distant future. But you get the idea. There is still plenty of work to do. Um, and I think I actually did my personal favorite one, if I do remember correctly, uh, completely. And that was the whole fire truck, fire boat, helicopter thing. So that's good. Um, Just click on the 911 if you need I do help. I do no longer need your help uh, and that'll do it for Tonka search and rescue um, so yeah this is a very fun game in my childhood I also like Tonka monster trucks but that one didn't make it into the video I had to make a decision click on the 911 if you need my help. on to the final game of the video okay here we go I spy school days. I'm not sure if I've said this before in the recording, but uh, the audio is probably going to be kind of crackly. My apologies, this is the best I can do. Riddle adventures are hidden within. Please type in your name before you begin. If you've already played, scroll... As you can see, I did a practice run just to make sure the game works. It does. Nine different boxes for playing I Spy. Choose one and click. Give it a try. <laughs> Forgot about that. Give it a try. Uh, but no, that little, that little uh, ditty you heard right there. Play it again. Anyone recognize that? Didn't think so. Um... Well, I recognize that. That's actually from a clarinet concerto piece from Mozart. I've always been a classical music buff myself, and I immediately recognized that, not while playing this game, but while listening to the piece, as of course I listened to the piece after playing this game. So let's go to the main attraction, the Balloon Popper. Welcome to Balloon Popper, the machine that pops balloons. It doesn't work yet because some pieces are missing. You'll have to find them and put them in the right place. Click the boot to begin. Before we click the boot, hold on a second. Yes, that is true. Track you can, two. Click you can the boot to be. You can toggle the tracks. There track are three different one. tracks. I'm looking to do at least one, but I'm gonna try and see if I can do all three. So let's go. Let's see what happens when we click this boot. Listen to this riddle to figure out what piece is missing. Hmm. This toy can chug and blow smoke at its top. Place it on the green track so the balloon will pop. Alrighty. Maybe this? You found the correct piece. Now put it in place. Then click the boot and see what happens. <laughs> Sometimes it's a shopping cart, sometimes it's a train. I think it's random. God, it's so cool. And it pops! <laughs> this game has some of the best victory fanfare the themes balloon. in any video you game ever made. Again. Click the boot, or you can try a harder track by clicking track numbers two or three. Track two. 
Track two. Yeah, that little part where you have the dominoes move and uh, drop down the the dice tower. Oh, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I've always had a fascination with Rube Goldberg machines, and I'm sure plenty of other people did as a kid as well. So, moving on, track two. Ooh, all right. This time it's tricky. The missing balloon oh, popper so? piece is not on the screen. It oh. is in another I Spy game. Listen to the riddle to discover what you need to find and which game to go to to find it. Good luck. Not meant to be thrown, but kicked with your feet. It's found in a place where chalk and board meet. <laughs> I Spy, the game where soccer balls can be found on a chalkboard. Um... Anyways, ooh, who's this little guy over here? You found me! The little ladybug right there, the golden ladybug. You can find her uh, in a lot of different places in the game. Pick the place where you'll find the missing piece. It's gotta be here. Not meant to be thrown, but kicked with your feet. It's found in a I place see it. where chalk and board meet. Great job! You found the missing piece. Now put the piece in place. Then click on the boot and see what happens. Alright. Oh, we're still missing something. Okay, it's all right. It was kind it's of lagging there. Head during sports people play, it's now at rest in a chalkboard tray. It's worn on the head during. The... Back to the chalkboard. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make that pun. Um, okay, so it was lagging, so you didn't get to see the machine go, but it's all right because it's not done yet. It's now worn on the on head during I see sports it. people play. It's now at, it's rest, now at rest in a chalkboard, on a chalkboard tray. tray. Great job! You found the missing piece. And it can go right there. Inventive. I've never thought to... Well, then again, I don't think I've ever had a helmet that small. It's weird. I've all, the, the scale of this is bizarre. There's a, there's a soccer ball that's like half the size of a toy train. And yet that toy train is also half the size of a baseball. The, <laughs> the scale of this stuff is fucking weird, but I love it. And the attention to detail, of course, always spectacular. You can always find cool stuff in the whole area. All right, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> a little bounce right there, that's cool. Oh, the little guy uh, slaps the ball, that's cool. Down. Hits the dominoes. Ball goes in. The ballerina. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Hey! Nice. Wow, you popped the balloon. Wow! If you want to see it pop again, click the boot. Or you can try a different track by clicking the track numbers. And finally, track three. Let's see what happens when we do this. A rolling toy that you push while you ride. It's found in a place oh, where chocolate Oh, that little inside. sound of the balloon going <laughs> That was just the sound that it makes because I'm a failure. Okay. Um, it's found a place where chalk... Are all of the things that we need for ice for this game in the chalkboard area? Oh, man. Okay. I guess there there's one other mini game in this game that I really love, and I guess we'll have to do that separately. 
Alright, rolling toy that you push while you ride. It's found in a place where chalk can slide. Fair enough. Back to the drawing board. Uh. A rolling toy that you push while you ride. It's found in a place where chalk can slide. There we go. Good job. You found the skateboard. missing piece. That's a very bizarre description of a skateboard, but and again, I've never really ridden one for that long, so let me see what happens. Do I put it here? Or what? Oh, okay. That's not what I expected. Oh, I see. It lands on the little air thing, blows the skateboard. Oh, hold on. Am I going to need something to go on that skateboard? I feel like I am. Let's see. It holds soap and water to get you clean, and it hides in a place where nature, where nature is seen. nature is seen. Okay. Different area. No, no. Where nature is seen. Gotta be the bee. It holds soap and water to get you clean, and it hides in a place right. where nature is seen. Right there. Ah, oh, bathtub. Great okay, job. that's odd. You found the missing piece. Okay. Put it right in there. I feel like I'm gonna need another piece. I don't think this is enough. I think we need to go deeper. Yeah. <laughs> it's made from cloth and catches the breeze. It can move a boat through a city with ease. All right, golden ladybug, did you, did you just hit puberty right there? Um, it's made from cloth and catches the breeze. And it can move a boat through a city with ease. A sail, huh? It It's not alluding to where I need to go in order to find it, so would that mean it's somewhere on this slide? Or what? Or do I have to actually go looking for it? Okay, alright. Doo doo. Hmm. I think I'd be able to see it on one of these previews. Or am I really gonna have to go looking for it? Um. It's made from cloth. And catches ah, the breeze. there it is. Okay. It can move a boat through a city with ease. Great job! City, that was the you keyword. You found the missing piece. This is the other game that I wanted to play, by the way. The I Spy in the... The City. That's always been a really fun one for me. Bathtub sailboat, because why not? And now we have something to catch the breeze from the baseball drop, so... Now we might actually be going somewhere. Ah, but we're not done yet. <laughs> Use it to draw, to color, to write. Find it where there are blocks in sight. Where there are blocks in sight. Let's see. I'm guessing that must be here. Use it to draw, to color, to write. Find it where I there are blocks it. in sight. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I know where this goes. Great job. You found the missing yeah, this piece. This is actually really, really inventive use of a crayon here. Just wait. Just wait till you see what the purpose of that crayon is. used to eat soup. Find it where kids can learn in a group. Okay. I'd make the argument that you could that kids can learn in a group anywhere, but uh If I were to make the best guess, it would be I don't know, here. Code breaker. Nope. Welcome to code Clue 1. Please go back. Okay. Wrong one. Uh, 
This wouldn't happen to be the one, would it? Colored bright red. Nope. Okay, it's it is. It's used to eat soup. Good. Find it where it kids is, uh... can learn in a group. I was gonna say that's what you use to eat soup. Uh, colored bright red. There are only so many things colored bright red here. This is not it. Okay. Kids cannot learn in a group there, in case you didn't know. Um, well, I mean, there are groups here, but... Let's see. Here's how to play Oop Soup. Here's how to get rid of this. That's another fun game, too, but I don't think we'll be playing that today. Uh, kids can learn in a group. Maybe here, then? Colored bright red, it's used to eat soup. Find it where kids can learn in a group. Maybe go this way. Ah, there it is. The spoon. Great job. You found the missing piece. I think we're going to need... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think we're going to need another utensil on the other side. Yeah. Bright yellow plastic, it scoops and it stirs. It's found in a place where construction occurs. Technically that fits all of these criteria, but not quite the uh, not not quite the construction criteria. So if we're looking for construction, I think I found the place. Bright yellow plastic, it scoops and it stirs. It's found in a place where construction occurs. That is not plastic, so it must be in a different area. There it is! Found it. Nice! Great job! You found the missing piece. It goes right there. See? How cool is that? That you use a crayon on top of one of those little uh, jagged blocks there as a means of being an axle for two different spoons. For like... Oh man, it's so cool. But we're not quite done yet. Built with four legs, a back, and a seat. It rests near a board where school children, school children meet. Back to the drawing board. Built with four legs. I also a roll back, chalk and a seat. piece onto it a board and it just a draws a face. Where school children meet. Uh, so we're looking for... I mean, it wouldn't quite be that, would it? No, I didn't think so. There it is! Great Ding. job! You found the missing found the piece! missing piece! Okay. There. Ah, and then we're gonna need a ball to roll over there, and it looks like then... That guy's gonna kick the balloon into the pencil. So we need one more piece after this. Made to be tossed when filled with air. It's found in a place that, that insects, insects share. Fair enough. I know where that is. Made to be tossed when filled with air. The bathtub it's is found still there. In a place that insects share. Um, let's see. Tossed when filled with air. Ah, oh, there it is. Beach ball. Great job! You found the missing piece! There we go. Very nice. And with that, let's watch our masterpiece. Got them all! That'll do it. Now, for the second portion Click of this... Click on a box and try a new game. 
This one has always been fun. It's the Woodblock City. Start by listening to the riddle. Then, hunt for the items that the riddle asks for. <clears throat> you can see the city from another angle by clicking the arrows at the top of your screen. Yeah, I got it. I got it. If you want to try a new scene in the Woodblock City, click the arrows at the bottom of your screen. Here's your first riddle. Okay. I spy a roller skate, a piece of white chalk, a wrench, a sailboat, a sign for a clock, two black spotted cows, the letter B, a drawbridge, a dog, and an apple tree. I spy a YouTuber filled with dread because his camera's battery is about to be dead. Let's see if I can finish this in time. Okay. I always like to do this in order, too. So let's see. Roller, skate. Uh, how many angles are there? Oh, I just saw it. I just saw it. A roller skate. A uh, piece of white chocolate. It wouldn't happen to be this, would it? Seems like chalk to me. A piece of white chalk. There's the wrench. A wrench. Sailboat. Ah, I see it. A sailboat. A sign for a clock. New clock tower. A sign for a clock. Two black spotted cows. Two black spotted cows. Oh, dead ass, the letter B. The letter B. Drawbridge. Made of pencils. A drawbridge. I find a doggo. Is that a doggo? Yes, it is. A dog. And an apple tree. Oh, I just saw it. An apple tree. All right, next one. You've earned a treasure. Oh, have I now? Look for it in the Make Your Own I Spy game. Make Your Own I Spy game? Huh. All right, you've finished a riddle. Here's a different riddle, or you can skip to a new scene in the Woodblock City by clicking the arrows at the bottom of your screen. That's all good. I spy a red car, a man wearing blue, school, three stop signs, a rolling pin too, a mayor in black, a gold police star, I can find almost all of these of things candy, on this specific scene. And a yellow car. A red car. A yellow car. A mayor in black. Aw! Oh. A man wearing blue. That guy just face planted. School. That was always my favorite A uh, fanfare. The dee -dee 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 Piece of candy. All right, here it is. A stop sign. A gold police star. A piece of candy. Rolling pin. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice camouflage there. A rolling pin. And there's the last stop sign. Very Three nice. Stop sign. You've earned a treasure. Look for it in the Make Your Own I Spy game. Make Your Own I Spy game. Yay! You 
finished all the riddles for this woodblock city scene. Woo! Now try the next one. It's all I good. Spy it's a all dancer, good. A park bench, a whale, ears on a monkey, a sailboat, a pail. So two men on a bridge. That three pyramid blocks. A I red letter I spy o, school days. And two brand new clocks. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do, of course, in this game that I haven't shown. Um, but that's all the stuff that resonated with me the most as a kid. The balloon popper. Um, and of course this game, which I guess that drawbridge is now open. Um, I could go on and do all of those, but you, you've seen the gist of it, so that'll do it. And with that, that is the last game in Nostalgic Throwdown Episode 4. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. <laughs> I finally have everything recorded. I think I recorded the first game for this series. Uh, or I think I recorded the first game for this video back near the end of July. It's now the beginning of November. Oh my god. So this is going to be... Uh, it's gonna be fun to edit. Now that I know that everything is finally recorded. Let's go! And with that, well, I'll leave you with Mr. Outro Jodan. Ah, the classics. Hard to beat them, for sure. And we're not done yet. Tune in next time for Nostalgic Throwdown, Episode 5. Rugrats All Growed Up where I showcase my favorite CD-ROM game of my childhood.